Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the Help of God series is where does your help come from? And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Psalms chapter 121 verses 1 and 2. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalms 121 is one of my favorite Psalms in the Bible. The Psalmist here, David, was as usual being very truthful. You see, in those days, palaces and castles were usually situated upon the hills as a security strategy. First, from a hill, it was easier to spot intruders. And secondly, before intruders could climb, they would have um, been caught. Hills were thus a symbol of refuge and defense for the earthly royals. In this psalm, David admitted that there were times he looked up to the symbols that these hills represented. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he doesn't stop there. Something prompts him to ask a question. From whence comes my help? David had reflected on his experiences enough to understand that his help did not come from the refuge of living upon a hill or being fortified by the security agencies and strategies of humans. And so he declared, my help comes from the Lord. And then he specifies which Lord, the one who made heaven and earth. In the next few episodes and by the leading of the Holy Spirit, we will look into the life of this King David to see instances of how the Lord actually helped him. But today I would really love to convince you that there is a security that comes from the knowledge that no man really has the capacity to help you. A close relative was very ill recently, almost to the point of death. While doctors battled, we prayed and prayed and prayed. I remember that I was in touch with this family member's pastor. The pastor was so supportive, a dear person. She prayed, she encouraged, she kept in touch like a true shepherd. Halfway into our ordeal, I received news that this pastor had gone to be with the Lord. Just like that. There are so many people under the sound of my voice who are always looking for people to do their spiritual work for them. They want people to do their prayer work. Some people are even ready to pay for this. The sooner we realize that man is but man and cannot help without himself being empowered, the better it will be for us. Please don't get me wrong. Asking for prayers is not wrong. Having your friends and church members and leaders intercede for you or join you in prayer concerning a particular thing is fantastic. But relying entirely on people to do all the work for you is folly. The incident with the family member's pastor was a reminder to me that all men are men. The very mortality of man makes him an unlikely candidate for a help giver. David understood this. He was saying, yes, I know the hill represents authority. It represents power, royalty, rulership, security, but true help cannot and does not come from this. The sooner we begin to set our gaze in the right direction, the more readily our help will come. Our help comes from the Lord, the one who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.